Hi welcome to first time watching, today we are going to explain the ending of a movie released in 2023 titled Dog Gone. Spoilers ahead! The opening scene of the movie shows a young college student named Fielding bemoaning a recent breakup. He decides to adopt a puppy from the shelter and give him the name Gonker in an effort to lift his mood. At his university, Gonker and Fielding are childhood friends. Fielding relocates with his parents while the rest of his buddies find employment and continue living their lives. His parents John and Ginny Marshall are first wary of Gonker, but quickly develop feelings for him. The family learns that Gonker has Addison's disease and requires monthly injections when he becomes ill. All appears to be fine once he recovers from his initial illness, until one day when he rushes after a fox and disappears. Fielding spends hours trying to locate him without success. The marshals begin a thorough search operation the following morning, with Ginny distributing information from her house and John and Fielding scouring the Appalachian Trail. Gonker will require his next shot in 20 days, giving them 20 days to find him. Fielding and John travel the Appalachian Trail in their search for Gonker, covering ground during the day and spending the night in motels. They distribute flyers and do whatever they can to spread the word. Meanwhile, Fielding continues to get stomach problems and refrains from eating while still walking for hours each day. He keeps everything from his father so that he can continue searching for Gonker. As the tale of Gonker gains popularity, more and more people start looking out for the Labrador over the course of many days. When John and Fielding arrive, it's another dog, despite the shelter's claim that they had found Gonker in a phone conversation. Fielding's health continues to worsen as he becomes ever more dejected. John decides to return home after observing Fielding's diminished condition. Fielding becomes upset upon waking up in the automobile and discovering himself in front of his home. He debates going back to look for Gonker with his parents, but they persuade him it's finished. Through telephone Fielding at last tells his sister about his constant stomach aches and his inability to swallow any food. His sister exhorts him to inform his parents and have it examined. Fielding's parents receive a call from a Matt Kessler who claims to have seen their dog just as Fielding is about to tell them. He claims that over the previous day or so, Gonker has been visiting to devour stuff taken out of their trash. He has witnessed him performing feats and throwing donuts with his nose but hasn't been able to capture it on camera. The marshals are persuaded by this to leave right away. When they arrive, Matt directs Fielding and John to the trees where Gonker typically emerges. He ignores Fielding's calls for him despite the calls. John gets discouraged once more as he spots a recognizable furry face in between the trees. It's Gonker! Ginny frequently experiences memories from her past throughout the movie. They are recollections of her early years, around the time she received the pet dog Aji. She gave Aji her all, but her parents weren't as sympathetic to him. She was devastated and promised never to love another dog when he went away while her parents were watching and was struck by a car. All of this is altered when Ginny meets Gonker, who is immediately smitten with her. They get along well, but when he disappears, she is heartbroken because she worries that she may lose a companion dog once more. Gonker goes to greet Ginny as John and Fielding finally get him home. He and Aji may both be seen rushing into her arms. After a joyful reunion, the family returns to their home, where Fielding ultimately nods off from exhaustion. They discover in the hospital that he had ulcerative colitis, which could have been the cause of his demise. All he needed now is some rest. John and Ginny note that Fielding hasn't been sleeping well at night while being treated in the hospital. John understands that this is the result of Fielding becoming accustomed to sleeping next to Gonker. He hides Gonker inside his jacket as a result to enter. The movie ends as it is revealed that Fielding eventually manages to get some sound sleep, thanks to Gonker's presence. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on the notification, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thanks for watching.